Hi and welcome back guys to this week's video. Today we want to focus on a specific situation in life or even more so a specific feeling. So the topic I want to focus on today as the title already suggests is you thinking that you're happy although you're not. So let's dive right into that. What do I mean with that? With that I mean finding yourself in your life concept, in your life situation of really thinking that everything your life is about makes you happy. So your mind will fool you into believing that this is truly something that makes you happy and you won't know otherwise because you've never like pushed yourself beyond those limitations. So you won't know what else is in store actually. Our mind does that in a very clever way because our mind obviously always, as we talked about in other videos already, wants to keep us in the safe environment of the known, wants to keep us in our comfort zone because everything else from an evolutionary point of view is perceived as danger. And so your mind is not going to do a proactive job of pushing you beyond your limitations and of really helping you grow in a sense. So that is something that you have to initiate. So obviously, if you're never doing that, then this is obviously never happening to you in your life. So that will mean that you'll remain in a safe environment that you know and that you'll never really walk further from there, which is fine for most people and you just stay in this known circle. But that's also the exact point when you think for yourself that you are happy with your life, although you might not be. Although you know if you're truly honest to yourself, there's so much more to life and there's so much more for you to experience and to live by. So let's talk about that because this is something so invisible and critical in life that if you don't deal with it, it will determine your entire life story. And wouldn't it be sad because we only have this one life. And so for that, let me share my personal story. For me, looking back, I found myself for a really long time in a life concept that made me believe I was happy. And if you had asked me back then, I would have truly told you I am happy with everything. I'm happy with myself. This is what life is supposed to be. But then again, sitting there with myself and truly taking a second to be truly deadly and deeply honest to myself, I knew that something was not right. I knew there was more to life. I knew something was toxic. I knew something was simply not right. But I never allowed myself to actually believe it and to actually dive deeper into this thought. Because I also back then I didn't understand it. I truly didn't understand what was going on. So whenever this would come up, I would just push it aside and then I would just carry on as I knew. Because that's what I knew, that's what my mind knew and that's of course how I knew my life to be. So why would I change anything? Especially now we know our mind doesn't want to change anything, so there wouldn't be no there would be no reason for me to do anything about it. And so I remained in that state. However, though, of course, that wasn't a healthy state. And at some point I reached the point where I realized, okay, this is enough, enough already. I don't want to be stuck in this anymore. And then everything miraculously changed. And this is such a critical turning point because you can get so lost in this spiral of remaining stuck in a state that you will never do anything about it. And it's not your fault. It's your mind doing that to you. It's your mind that is programming you and that is completely carrying you through that life story because your mind just wants you to stay safe. Your mind just wants you to remain inside the levels of your own limitations, of your comfort zone. That's where your mind wants you to be because everything else, every growth process resembles danger. Every aspect of taking a step, of growing, of doing something unknown, of doing something new, is something that is perceived as potentially risky. So your mind doesn't want you to go there. But that of course means that you remain in this state. And that's too sad though, because of course the true magic of life happens beyond that state. And also here, speaking from my own experience, I only realized these kind of things after I had moved away, after I had freed myself. And I was then looking back and I was looking at myself and I was just so grateful and so shocked in a way at the same point though, because I honestly realized how much I would have missed out on in life, how much more there was to life, how much more potential was awaiting just to be unlocked. And this is where the true, how I always phrase it, aliveness of life really lies. 
And this is where I want everyone to be because even for me, like I would have not been able to imagine that. And if you would ask me back then being in that state, I would have told you I'm happy and I would have missed out on my entire life. I would have missed out on so much that was possible for me. I would have missed out on so many beautiful states, so many beautiful life stories. And obviously I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I'm here now in Cape Town with my own business and quit my job and beautiful life experiences, beautiful people I'm meeting, beautiful life stories life is writing for me, all of that would have never, never happened. And oh boy, what a shame that would have been. And you can already tell, judging by how I'm talking about this topic, how passionate I am about it. Because I know what it feels like to be stuck in a toxic spiral. I know what it feels like to be surrounded by toxic people. I know what it feels like to really honestly have no idea how to free yourself from your current state. Although you know if you're being honest to yourself, it's this tingling feeling inside your stomach. And if you're truly honest to yourself, you realize it's there and it's telling you that something's wrong and that you should change something. Most of the times we're masters at just calming that voice down and just quieting it down. But if you're truly honest, then you know that it's there and that it's signaling you to change something. And obviously because I know how tough this is and how know how hard it is to even just see what is happening to you when you're finding yourself in this stuck state and in these spirals. I took everything that I have, I took everything I have learned throughout life, I took everything that helped me to free myself from that, to really put myself into a position where I could truly feel alive. And I put all of that together, all my years of experience, all my years of knowledge, every tiny strength that I've gathered, and I put that together in an online course because I want to support more people with this knowledge. Because when you're in this spiral, when you're in this unhealthy state, you're not realizing it and you have no idea how to free yourself from it. And it's one of the most dragging feelings that you can experience in life. Because even if you have like one moment of strength and one moment of faith and you're trying to break free, it's sucking you back in right away. And also your friends won't be able to help you in that sense because it's hard for yourself to really truly listen. For me, I so many friends told me so many beautiful, valuable lessons. I wasn't able to hear them. I wasn't able to comprehend them. I wasn't able to acknowledge them. So for me, this is such a passionate field where I truly can connect with you on that level, where I truly know what it feels like to not be able to escape this spiral, to not be able to escape your emotional pain as well. So this can account for different several situations. You can find yourself in a relationship where you're unhappy. You can find yourself in a toxic spiral. Let it be with a partner. Let it be with a friend. Let it be with a family member. You can find yourself in a separation state right now. You can find yourself in just emotionally dragging pain. And I know for every single state and every single feelings that are connected with that what this feels like to the deepest core of your being and so this is what has me so passionate about this that I really want to connect with you that I really want to support you so either with you if you are watching this and you're finding yourself in this state or if you know someone who is finding themselves in such a struggling state right now please pass this on to them I'm really truly so motivated to help and just to connect and to support and of course you can find the link to the course just below in the description under this video so please share it with people visit the site share it with everyone who might benefit from it who you know who is really stuck in life right now who is in emotional pain who is stuck in a toxic spiral please pass it on to them I'd be so delighted to be able to help and from here on just let me say I'm so grateful for your time today please share this video with anyone who might benefit from it connect with me of course at all times connect with me through my social profiles connect with me and just send me a private message if it helps just I really want to invite you to always connect with me at all times just if this human exchange is helping you if the human interaction is helping you please by all means send me a message at all times I'm always happy to connect with you and to support you and from here on, just let me wish you a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you next week again.